They say the Reading Blue Mountain and Northern, otherwise known as the Reading and Northern, is America's most rail fan friendly railroad and between the classic EMD power, frequent fan excursions, and of course the friendly crews, it's easy to see why people say that. Today we'll be investigating. Does the Reading and Northern live up to the hype? Jim Thorpe is a charming mountain town located between Scranton and Allentown, Pennsylvania, and aside from being a popular destination for bikers, whitewater rafters, and other tourists, it's also home to the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway, which is a tourist railroad that runs trains into the Lehigh Gorge State Park to the north. The Lehigh Gorge Scenic is just one part of the larger Reading and Northern, so it uses RBMN's tracks, equipment, and crews. Anyways, today is August 13th, 2022, and it's far from an ordinary Saturday here in Jim Thorpe. In addition to the regular gorge trains, the Reading and Northern is running the Iron Horse Ramble Excursion, which is an all-day fan excursion from Reading to Jim Thorpe and back. While fan excursions run monthly out here during summer months, the August excursion will feature both of the Reading and Northern steam locomotives with recently restored 484 number 2102 leading and older 462 number 425 trailing. Announced in early August, this doubleheader would be the talk of the rail fan community in the Northeast all month as this was the first steam doubleheader on the Reading and Northern since 1988. While it wasn't scheduled into Jim Thorpe until 11.50, I arrived early to set up before anyone else, and as a nice bonus, I saw the 11 o'clock gorge train leaving town. Here's an example of the Reading and Northern being a railroad made for rail fans, and the main train of interest hasn't even arrived yet. In anticipation of rail fans seeing the steam doubleheader, management decided to use the railroad's two ex Norfolk Southern F units as power for gorge trains instead of the regular GP38. This was a great surprise, especially since these two diesels are usually reserved for the Reading and Northern's executive trains. But who cares about F units when a steam doubleheader is on its way? That seemed to be the prevailing mindset of rail fans here, because as soon as we heard 2102's whistle echo through the mountains, voices went quiet and cameras came out. Ten minutes ahead of schedule, the doubleheader rolled into town, and just as expected, it was nothing short of jaw-dropping. Between the two locomotives shaking the ground with their whistles and hundreds of passengers on board, a wave of excitement washed over the town as rail fans flocked to the station to get pictures. After unloading an entire town's worth of passengers over the course of 10 minutes, Jim Thorpe got a whole lot busier and the doubleheader had to get out of the way for the 11am gorge train to pull back in. Backing out of Jim Thorpe, you can really see how long this train is, with a colorful assortment of old school passenger cars which match the locomotives quite well. Steam engines are always cool to see in action, but they're even cooler on the Reading and Northern, as this region of Pennsylvania is known for its anthracite, which is the highest grade and cleanest burning coal in the world. 
Well, the majority of coal coming out of Pennsylvania is lower grade bituminous coming from the western parts of the state. Northeastern Pennsylvania is home to the largest anthracite field in the United States. Harkening back to the Lackawanna Railroad, the Road of Anthracite slogan has been used to market both clean burning coal locomotives and high quality coal exports from this region. Well nowadays, the Reading and Northern's regular operations use diesel fuel for power. Most engines on their fleet feature a Road of Anthracite logo on the nose, not only serving as a nod to the railroad's predecessors, but also as a proclamation of their export and occasional use of the world's finest coal. Much to the chagrin of anthracite fans, the use of coal is fleeting, but today these two steam locomotives can proudly burn the highest quality coal straight from Pennsylvania's coal region. Anyways, back to diesel power. After the special moved out of the station to turn around at Jim Thorpe Junction, the gorge train from earlier pulled back into the station, this time with the caboose acting as a shoving platform. This train added yet another group of excited people to the town of Jim Thorpe, which at this point was absolutely packed with rail fans, tourists, and even out of state rail fan tourists such as myself. Unfortunately though, where I was set up wasn't quite good enough, as the gorge train stopped right before passing me, leaving me with this unfortunate shot of not quite two F units. No big deal though, because the excursion is coming back into town shortly. After turning around just north of town, the special backed into Jim Thorpe, this time with a little surprise. Since both steam locomotives were getting a much needed water refill, they uncoupled from the train at the yard just north of town, and a duo of XCSX SD50-2s pulled the rest of the train back down. Matching the F units, this black, gray, and red is the Reading and Northern's new corporate paint scheme, although these two advertise the RNN's fast freight service, which is known as one of the most efficient freight operations in the country. Interestingly, the last time I saw one of these units, it was the 5018, and it was in a similar red paint scheme, although since when I last saw it in 2020, the red was changed to gray, as it was found to be too similar to the RJ Corman paint scheme. Anyways, here's one last look at the excursion, while the two steamers are being topped off with water. After this, I was hungry and Jim Thorpe was only getting busier, so I decided to call it a day. Regardless though, it's always a great time when you're rail fanning on the RNN, especially when a steam excursion's running. And despite all the hype, I believe that the Reading and Northern truly is America's most rail fan friendly railroad. I definitely recommend you check it out if you're in the area.